vlog. I'm in a park now. Today it's super sunny in Berlin and I'm going jogging now. We ordered some pizza and now we are having a chill pizza night and we are going to watch a cute movie. Yum! Hi vlog, I just came home from a little photo session with my friend Anna, she's a photographer and we went to the Tempelhofer Feld here in Berlin and we took some pictures. I'm really excited how the pictures are going to turn out because it was a bit experimental. I had a cap on my head and also we did my hair in a crazy way. And the jogging session yesterday didn't go well. I only ran around 20 minutes and it was really cold and I just wasn't in the mood <laughs> for jogging. So maybe I'm going to try it again when it's a bit warmer in Berlin. But also I think I'm just out of practice because I'm always running on the treadmill. So maybe I'm going to work on that. Guys, I'm so in love with this recipe. It's so easy and so yum. And I wish you could smell this right now. It just smells super, super yummy. And I'm so hungry, so I'm going to eat this now. Mmm. So yum.
Hey vlog, I'm going to meet my friends now. We are going to a Greek restaurant. This is my simple fit for the night. Let's go. It's a new day and I thought I'm going to take you with me today. I'm going to get my nails done because they are super grown out. I definitely have to do that. Afterwards, I'm going to the gym. I already have my gym clothes on and then I'm getting ready because tonight I'm invited for dinner at the place of a friend. So it's going to be a very cute and chill day. And I'm super happy because we rearranged our living room. We turned everything around before our TV stood like in the middle of the room right here and the couch was on this side. I just really believe that if you change a bit of your surroundings, like rearrange your living room, it can really lift your mood. I love the new look. Before I go to the nail salon, I just really wanted to show you my bullet journal setup for March. I just love this new setup. It's so sweet. It really gives me spring vibes and I love the colors of those pages and the pictures that I searched on Pinterest, like those sweet kitties. And yes, I'm happy and excited for March. I'm being honest with you, today my day started really crappy. I felt so bad. I cried this morning. But then I remember that I have the power to change my day at any moment. If you have a bad start, it doesn't have to be a bad day. I have to remind myself that I can do all those things that put me in a good mood. For example, bullet journaling or going to the gym or just go and get a coffee or go for a little walk in the park. You have the power to lift your mood, so use it. This is a very corny sentence, but do more things that make you happy. It's absolutely normal that we have bad days or that we are sad sometimes. You know, shit happens, like we all have bad days. But I think it's just such a goal to become a master of redirecting your thoughts into more positive things. When you know all the tools you have and you know when to use which tool to just lift your mood and be happy, this can change your life in the long term, just into a more positive direction. And do not only pay attention to the things you do, but also to the people you see. There are people that just drown your energy. They don't bring joy in your life. They only bring more negative thoughts in your life. Just know who you surround yourself with. Like, who is a really good company? Who brings sunshine and joy into your life? Stick to those people. Just a little top. Spring is coming, so I really want to do something more colorful with my nails this time. So this is the before. Let's see. Guys, I'm so happy with it. The colors are so bright, so springy, and I'm right in front of the gym, so I'm going now. I just got out of the gym and it's already dark now. Hey friends, I just got ready for dinner. These are the nails. I'm so in love with them. And this is my fit. Just my hoodie and some white trousers. Ich 
Mm -hmm. Hey there, I'm home now. It was a really lovely evening at Simon's place and now I'm really tired. It's already 1 a.m. I'm going to sleep now and tomorrow I'm going to Cologne to visit a good friend of mine. So stay tuned.